Welcome to this lesson on the volume of rectangular prisms. A rectangular prism is a three-dimensional figure where all the faces are squares or rectangles. Alright, so you see an example of a rectangular prism below. And if we want to find the volume of a rectangular prism, there's a couple different formulas you may see. The first one is volume equals base times height, and it's a capital base because it stands for the area of the base. Alright, and the base is just the bottom, or um, it depends on the way the, the rectangular prism is facing, but it's easiest to just say it's the bottom or one of the faces. And then the height is, of course, how tall the prism is. And then the other formula you may see is volume equals length times width times height, which is really the same thing as base times height because length times width is how you would find the area of the base because the, the base is a rectangle. All right, so let me erase this here. All right, so volume equals, so length times width times height. So here's my length and my width, here's my height, 9 times 5 times 6. And the order really doesn't matter because the length and the width and the height of a rectangular base really depend on how it's facing and how it's standing. If it's standing on the bottom or if we put it vertical in the air, but the volume isn't going to change. So it doesn't matter the order. We just multiply the three dimensions together and we're going to get 270 inches cubed because it's a three dimensional shape so it's going to be inches cubed all right the next shape is a cube and it's a special type of rectangular prism where all the faces are squares and you can still use the same formula but sometimes you may see a special formula volume equals length cubed because instead of having three different dimensions, for a cube, all the numbers are going to be the same. So we really just need one variable, L, for length. So volume equals 7 cubed. Or, of course, you could write 7 times 7 times 7. Same thing. And that gives us 343 feet cubed. All right, let's try some examples below. So number one, it says to find the volume. So the volume equals base times height or length times width times height. So 8 times 2 times 2, which would give us 32 feet cubed. All right, number two, what is the volume of the cube? Now, it only gave us 5, but we know since it's a cube, all the dimensions will be 5 meters. So volume equals 5 cubed, or 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125 meters cubed. All right, and number three, the volume of a rectangular prism is 300 inches cubed. The length is 10 and the width is 4. What is the height? So this one we're actually working backwards. So my volume is 300, my length is 10, my width is 4, and we're trying to find the height. Alright, so I'm going to multiply 10 times 4, that's going to give me 40. And then I'm trying to solve for height, so I'm going to divide by 40 on both sides. And that gives me 7.5. Now height is one dimensional, it's just a distance. So it's not gonna be inches cubed, it's just inches. All right, and then number four, the dimensions of a shoebox are 12 inches by four inches by five inches. How many cubic inches can the box hold? All right, so a shoebox is a box, it's a rectangular prism, so length times width times height, or 12 times four times five. And if it asks how many cubic inches it can hold, that is volume. Because remember, volume is just the space inside a figure. How much can it hold? All right, and if we multiply those together, we get 240 inches cubed. 
Alright, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete the practice and check it with your teacher.